Hello Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for joining me. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation. Um, please also remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about your person here. So, um, or you, you know, just flip it, switch it. But let's see what's going on, Gemini. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for the love and support. So let's see. This is going to be for Gemini Spirit. Messages for Gemini, please, and thank you. Messages for my Gemini Collective. What do you have for them? Well, this morning is 12.26 in the morning. <laughs> so let's just see. Bottom of the deck, we have bad temper, anger issues. Okay. Somebody needs to go get help with that. Shit. Damn. <laughs> I know y'all saw that card. Damn. Okay, this says... <laughs> Sexually transmitted disease, diagnosis, symptoms, fear of exposure. Oh, y'all need to be careful. My son is still woke at this time, but he doesn't have school tomorrow, so I let him hang out. <laughs> Struggling, going through hard times. Hmm, what else for Gemini? Bad temper, anger issues wanted to come out. Oh my. Possessive desire to own or dominate. We have he or she is connecting with the karmic lover. And then we have twin flame. Sheesh. Okay. Then we have spell work involved. Lord have mercy. Okay. So this one's going to be. <laughs> um, what deck? Where's my deck? Oh, do I want to use this one? Yeah, I'll use this one again. So let's see who this is with the sexually transmitted disease. Ciao. This is crazy. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on. Why is sexually transmitted disease here for Gemini? Okay, someone has the cooties, Gemini. Please be aware, okay? You could already know about this situation. All right. But who is this uh, with this sexually transmitted disease? Spirit for Gemini. Please clarify that card for me, please. And thank you. Give me clear messages, Spirit with the um involving that sexually transmitted disease card bottom of the deck the four of wands this could have been somebody that you were married to and in a connection with oh my god but this is this twin flame energy this lovers in the four of wands oh your twin or somebody here could have gotten involved with the karmic that gave them something and i hope that is not permanent oh Okay, this reading is going to be a little sensitive. I don't know. Let's see. Sexually transmitted disease for Gemini. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody is not investing in a situation no more. Somebody is looking at what they invested in. Somebody is, is losing their patience with someone. Someone here invested wrong, too. Definitely invested wrong. Okay, um... This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn... Ooh, we. <laughs> Somebody here could have been waiting on someone to return, but it's like, I mean, shit, if they can't return now, if they're dealing with someone that gave them something, oh my gosh, Gemini. Yeah, somebody here could have invested money into someone. Maybe they were in business with someone too, with the karmic energy and wasted their time, their money. Okay, yeah, somebody is very frustrated that things have postponed between you two. Yeah, somebody here didn't finish what they started here with you, I feel. Hmm. Yeah, this is a big setback for someone. What else for the sexually transmitted disease? King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody here. Or oh, this could be you, Gemini. <laughs> I ain't saying that. That's y'all to have this disease. But I'm just saying this King of Swords is you, man. <laughs> So this could be somebody here that somebody didn't set their boundaries up with. Okay. They really didn't set strong, firm boundaries. All right. With this person. Um, somebody here could have definitely lied about fucking around, sleeping around, um, making bad investments everywhere and got themselves caught up. Okay. I feel like somebody here lost their shit with someone though. This is what this King of Swords in Reverse is giving me. Cause I would too, if I found out that something like this happened to me or someone gave me something, I would definitely be mad as fuck 
Okay, I will be definitely very, very verbally, I will be attacking your ass. You will not like what I have to say. Just period. I don't give a fuck. You don't do that to nobody. But yeah, so this could be someone also, um, you know, that someone invested in that's very abusive, very controlling, very manipulative. They lie, they cheat, they con. This is what they do. They like to play on your mental with the swords energy. They like to confuse you. They like to mind you know fuck you in the wrong way this person here is was just a bad investment i feel like so now this person is beyond cold they're beyond this person here this king of swords is definitely in reverse they're just worse than being aloof and elusive and just cold-hearted they're worse than that when they're in reverse somebody here abuses their their position here what else for sexually transmitted disease for gemini Yeah, the chariot. So, so, so yeah, I just feel like somebody's determined to get away from this energy and move on. This is causing a tower moment for someone because they thought that they were going to be in control here. But I feel like somebody is taking back control of their life here. They're stepping into their divine masculine role and getting rid of this karmic bitch, whoever this is. Somebody's a nasty-ass energy. Yeah, they're being very strategic with how they're moving. Yeah. But somebody is definitely determined to move forward and move on. Okay. The chariot could also talk about like a victory in a situation, but I just see that somebody is moving forward. I feel like that is victory for someone else, especially if spell work is involved. Someone is just fucking disgusting, bro. Like I'm just getting a very turned off. I'm just turned off by this fucking energy. This shit is annoying as hell. Like for real. What is this King of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the tower. This person got their ass left. They're going through karma right now. Their life is chaotic as fuck. Because they're nasty. This three of pentacles, yeah, sleeping around with maybe people at their job. Or, you know, having threesomes with different people without protection. Or just, you know, I don't know. But they, they're definitely doing something, though. I don't know, but it's nasty. But their life is falling apart. Because they are fucking doing things that they don't have no business doing what is this struggling going through hard times oh my gosh i feel like a tower moment here is happening in your life too gemini that's meant to happen okay struggling going through hard times things were meant to come crashing down with this person things happen this way because someone didn't learn their lesson the first damn time yeah the judgment and the fool yeah with these major arcanas here the tower the chariot the judgment and the fool being here definitely something major going on in someone's life somebody's finding out that someone's a nasty ass freak <laughs> that's just period but yeah um i feel like you're making a decision to leave this energy and start new start fresh okay take this risk somewhere else because you don't have time to deal with this person and their bullshit you, they could be struggling but it ain't gonna be you so i feel like you have a new beginning coming or someone's coming towards you for a new beginning could possibly be um because maybe you're just not dealing with this person maybe even your person you're not dealing with this person because they have a disease or whatever i don't know maybe you guys know about this maybe you don't maybe this is your first time knowing about this <laughs> maybe your intuition has been telling you about this situation but there's a new beginning here the judgment i feel like you know forgive but don't forget this is what the judgment talks about forgiveness it does talk about karma as well all right somebody here could definitely be beating themselves up blaming themselves for what happened and this is their karma yeah there could be someone from your past returning to what is this judgment card with uh gemini i mean for gemini what is this judgment card yeah the star someone healing <laughs> they want to heal this connection as well someone praying for another chance with you could be this could also just be you here could be dealing with an aquarius this could also just be you healing right here gemini okay really going through a healing process right now getting yourself together from dealing with this situation yeah six of cups someone from your past just slipped over with the ace of wands so yeah what is this full energy for gemini yeah the seven of swords you are you could be being strategic let's see what this what is the seven of swords here for gemini 
oh my gosh this energy is really oh i don't know what that is somebody oh my gosh what is that feeling somebody could definitely have been doing like with this the spell work and shit somebody is just nasty <laughs> i don't know what this is that i'm feeling but it just feels very unpleasant what is the seven of swords energy for gemini i feel someone's energy this shit does not feel good six of wands yeah i feel like you're being strategic here gemini so you can go ahead and sneak towards this new beginning because you're you're trying to get out of this struggle energy okay but somebody definitely wants a victory with you it looks like they want to heal this connection um some of you guys could be seen in the public eye okay but i do definitely do feel like there's some lying and deceit and some betrayal going on here somebody here could be a, a attention seeker they like all the wrong attention because somebody here is a whore but on the other hand i feel like somebody here wants a victory with you i feel like if you have a plan here go ahead and put it in motion because it's going to work okay hard times don't last so i see there's going to be a victory or something like that here with the six of wands oh god what is this bad temper for gemini this bitch should not have a fucking bad temper if they passing out diseases and shit for real like why do you have such a bad fucking temper go get some help ho the eight of swords yeah like this person is mentally disturbed this person i don't know they need to go get some damn help they, they try to keep you stuck and make you feel trapped you know inside your head and shit making you feel powerless and shit making you delusional yeah this person putting shit in your ear there could be people around you talking shit about you or trying to put you know I don't know, but somebody's putting a bad taste in my mouth. This energy is very disgusting. What is this bad temper, anger issues? Nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody here is a somebody here could be an alcoholic. They overdrink, they overindulge. This person needs help. Literally, they need to, to be admitted in a mental asylum. Not even trying to be funny. This just sounds like what it is really real shit somebody here is very very greedy very self-centered they don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves they don't care yeah the six of swords and you're moving away from this period you're just moving on you're moving away you could be relocating i'm hoping that you are um gemini yeah but this person is doing spell work and shit too so really be mindful of that hopefully you're awakened yeah with the judgment you're going through an awakening so you should be awoke right now and you should be you know you can kind of like feel the energy I know I did a, a reading for Libra one time and that damn spell work that I felt was so strong. Ugh, like, I just feel that energy is just making me drained as fuck. Like, I don't know how I, to describe the feeling, but something is just off. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I, I just see like an energy of you moving on, you moving things to calmer waters. You just working on yourself, trying to focus on yourself at this point, because this energy is just nasty as hell. Yeah, you're hoping for a chance with your person, though, because I did, you know, Twin Flame is here. This karmic is a nasty-ass bitch, though. They deserve to be to get whatever they have coming to, to them. That's just period. Ugh, something here did not go someone's way. Somebody is not getting a wish fulfillment because you're moving on. If they thought that they was going to get something with you, the answer is no. You're not. What is possessive desire to own or dominate for Gemini? Hmm. two of pentacles in reverse yeah somebody here is definitely cuckoo very imbalanced very off i'm telling you i don't know if this is a crazy ass ex crazy ass baby mama baby daddy whatever the fuck but they're they tripping jim and i'm telling you but somebody here's finances is fucked up too somebody here is going through like some type of they're just immensely disturbed just know that something is wrong with this person but i see you walking away with this eight of cups the five of swords and the seven of cups yeah somebody has just really been trying to confuse the fuck out of you here like trying to manipulate you you could be hearing voices and seeing shit and you could just be stressed like your head could be hurting you could be having migraines and shit somebody here wants to win things at all costs they don't care what it takes or who they hurt they're going to keep confusing you they're going to keep trying to confuse you here okay yeah but i see you okay so this could be you with this two of pentacles i'm looking at it as like you coming out of this juggling energy going back and forth you know actually finding that balance again with this king of pentacles yeah 
you could be sitting on your throne like you could be good i don't know maybe this is your person going through this shit you could possibly feel that energy if this is your twin but somebody is a fucking punk they need their ass beat i don't like this energy i, I just hate it but yeah i see something stabilizing for you gemini if this is you or whatever i see somebody here being stable or maybe there's a father figure here coming to help you out you know could possibly be i hope so maybe someone that's wise someone that's stable and have their shit together here this could be your actual father or just a, a mature male energy maybe coming to help you with this okay but i don't know this situation here is just messy as fuck what is this five of swords for gemini you're the two of cups somebody trying to confuse you about who who the fuck you love this person is doing spell work on you and your person trying to cause confusion trying to cause conflict and coming between you two yeah you're just tired of this person talking i know you wish you could hit them in their face i really do because i i feel like doing it whoever the fuck this is yeah i just feel like you just saying fuck it i'm just not even going to deal with it i'm going to choose my battles wisely and just go and just okay you're gonna have to wait honey you should be asleep anyway Okay, you can go drink water, but make sure you use the bathroom too when you're done. Or, you know, not when you're done, but before you go to sleep. So, yeah, I do see someone walking away here. Maybe walking away from the confusion, okay? Walking away from the mind games, just letting shit be what it is. Like, they, they somebody here feels very defeated. Okay, just. Oh. No, you cannot. If you want soda, drink the ginger ale. Drink a little bit of it and put it back. But you're not going to be drinking. It's, it's 12. You're not going to be sitting up here drinking a whole bunch of stuff. You're just not going to do it. So, yeah. Sorry, Gemini. So, let's see. Why is he or she connecting with the karmic lover and twin flame here? What is this? Yeah, the ace of cups. <sighs> he or she is connecting with the karmic lover, twin flame. Why is that here? We have the Ace of Pentacles, wow, and we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so we have the King of Swords in reverse right here to the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, this is your person here. I feel like they set their boundaries. They're, they're you know, really um, wanting to be honest with you. I feel like if you're this person's twin, which possibly a lot of you are, this person has been connecting with the Karmic Lover for some time now, could possibly be okay for some of you it could have been years for some of you it could have been weeks for some of you it could be um months but yeah there's love here in this situation there's going to be a new beginning a new passionate beginning i mean well i don't see the ace of wands but it could possibly be a new passionate beginning but i see a new beginning in love here and i also see um if you're needing help financially i see that happening but maybe this person could be bringing you a gift of some sort here but I do see some blessings coming with you and your person. And this damn karmic lover has to go. Like, they just have to go. I feel like somebody is walking away from this energy. Who is this Queen of Swords for Gemini? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. So this is somebody here wanting to balance things out with you and bring you a love offer. They want to take you out or you want to take this person out. Okay, Gemini. Yeah, I, I feel like this is coming. So whatever this person is trying to do is not fucking working. They thought that they was going to get away with something and it has not worked. This energy is a fucking, ugh. Oh my gosh. What is the advice here for Gemini? What is the advice for Gemini spirit, please? What is the advice for Gemini? Two of swords. You're going to have to make a, a tough decision here. Don't be in denial. Don't be blinded by the bullshit. If you have people in your ear... Try to tune them out. Let Tell them to mind their fucking business so you can make your own fucking decisions. Okay? Don't hold back on making the decision. You're going to have to make one here, Gemini, with the Two of Swords. Don't cause a stalemate. Don't cause stagnation. Don't cause shit to be delayed. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and make your decision. Even if you, you know, don't don't rush to do it. You know what I'm saying? But don't sit here and not think about it. You know, actually think about it and put forth the effort to getting to a resolution with whatever you have to do here <clears throat> bless me 
yeah with the will there's something destined here there's something destined for you and i feel like it's with you and your twins so you're gonna have to make a decision or i don't know somebody here could be confused too what is this um what else for the um advice with the two of swords spirit Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Wands is all about taking action, being confident, being bold, being courageous. All right, don't let this person confuse you because this is probably who you really are. You're very beautiful, very confident inside and out. Don't let these people make it seem like, okay, you know, that you don't know what you're doing. Go ahead and make your decision because I feel like it's going to be a good one. I feel like you already know what to do. Just let this shit end with the Ten of Swords. Let this shit end. Let these people talk and just move on. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like there's a lot of gossip here. So don't ignore this decision. This could be your person I'm talking about. Hopefully they see this too. <laughs> but, but yeah, someone here is uh, ugh, just disgusting. Somebody definitely got stabbed in the back though with this Ten of Swords. And it's completely over. Like somebody's just done. Done, done, done. They're past done. Just period. Let's see what else we get for you guys, Gemini. Alright. Blowing bubbles. Fun, loving, bubbly, manifesting, embracing the moment, airy, flowing, being in the now yeah just just don't focus on the past or the future be in the now enjoy the moments that you have here with this person or even with yourself okay because if you focus too much on your past you're going to be burdened if you focus on the future you're definitely going to be burdened because you just don't know what's coming okay but let's just pull these cards so we have Grat gratuity being gracious abundant mindset high frequency positivity attracting what you want then we have team awesome healthy and open communication spending time together compatible on the same page yeah then we have no you hang up <laughs> lengthy exciting conversations they like to talk about into each other meaningful giddy a lot in common then we have back together reunited good chance of getting back together are back together things flowing well again groom husband partner interested in a commitment or advancement love of a lifetime wedding or event then we have stork a new addition ideas manifested pregnancy baby child children family good news inspiration yeah this is nice you and your twin actually getting together you know i feel like you know i feel like your person has enough maybe respect for you to not come back this way okay because i don't know how they found out maybe that this karmic had a sexually transmitted disease hopefully it wasn't them that caught it you know what I'm saying? But I know that they know better than to come towards you with that energy. That's just period. So life goals. Be sure your life goals, lifestyle are congruent with your partners. Grow together or grow apart. Emotional intimacy, healing relationship with self, inner child, proceed successful relationships. Love is energy. Sweetheart, romance, infatuated, wants you back. Courting, a gentleman, a surprise, treating you well and sorry must list be unapologetically self-loving decide on must-haves then release it to the universe yeah taking out the trash finally dumping that loser <laughs> cutting ties emotional clearing self-love spring cleaning healing then we have rocking it being yourself confident loud and proud hitting the right note harmonious concert showing off bottom of the deck we have stoked riding the wave of positive manifestation excited dream come true great things happening yeah behind that we have sunshine good vibes happy times positive attitude things going well the answer is yes so things are looking up for you anyways whatever this person is doing this spell working shit is just not even fucking working somebody here is a lame <laughs> that's just period whoever this bitter ass baby mama baby daddy ex husband ex-wife whoever the fuck they are they're lame i'm quite sure they know that anyway this person i don't know they're weird but this was your reading gemini <laughs> i hope it resonated leave me some comments man leave definitely leave me some comments subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will talk to you guys later bye